are times when you know your positive intentions, but it's very painful that you have so much positive intentions, but people just take you the wrong way and they resist you, they go against you. Yeah, that's what to me, that's one of the very painful things in life, right? So if you know yourself, you know what's going on in you, and you are aware of this, how people see you as well, then you have self-awareness. Your self-awareness. And self-awareness is a continuous journey. Yeah. Now, self-awareness is not being self-conscious. It's a different thing. Self-conscious is you know caring too much how people look at you and being very tiptoeing around how people might react and so on, right? Self-awareness, your attention is turned inward. You are aware, you are clear, and you know what is going on within you, and you know how other people are responding to you, and you're aware of that. That's self-awareness. Now, the next question I have for you is, what's the best version of you like? Have you reached the best version of you? Yeah, and that to us, right, is called self-mastery. Yeah, self-mastery. And self-mastery is to be able to narrow this gap of difference between what's inside you and how other people are experiencing you. Yeah, you might think you are right. Other people are also right. And they will resist you if you are not able to narrow that gap. But having that ability to flex your behavioral flexibility, communication flexibility, language flexibility, thinking flexibility, to be able to adapt and work with people and align with them, even when they resist you, that is self-mastery. 